video. Yes, in today's video, we're going to be um, we're going to be going over the tactics that uh, we've been using over the last couple of weeks because, believe it or not, the Bass Gods have been looking down on us. That's what the title of the uh, the video is, obviously. And uh, we're going to be going through what's what's been working for us, you know, because we've been blessed. We had been we had been blessed. We actually went this morning, me and Steve Wood. We was down there probably had five casts. Bug of the phone. It's four o'clock in the morning. Absolute waste of time. Northwesterly, but forget that because I don't want to get on a downer when we've been on such a buzz. I tell you. Anyway, so um, let's get into the video. So yes, what a glorious, uh, <coughs> glorious uh, sessions of fishing we've been having. Jesus Christ, it's been really, really good. Anyway. What, how, how it all, how we, this all came about, because obviously we've had this glorious run of weather, the wind's been in the right direction, everything's been brilliant, the sun's been out every day, the water's been crystal clear. Anyway, while I was doing my steps in the evening, you know, trying to do a bit of exercise, get a bit, bit tubby down there, do you know what I mean? Um, I was, we was, I was walking along the beach, down, down, quite local to me, and, uh, I was walking along at the thing where I fished there a couple of times and never caught caught bugger all steve would as he had one little tiny one little one like at low tide one night but as i was walking around the bottom of the promenade along the beach quite a long walk i noticed where the where the rocks are quite a way away from from the from the actual sea wall where you know where we had actually fished in the past and i know people fish there at high at high water but as i carried on walking and walking and walking one sort of stretch before there's a great big bay the rocks are really in close now i thought i thought now maybe just maybe that might be where the fish might be hanging around because it's sort of next to a bay and it's also the rocks it's just a little bit a little bit it's the same ground but it's just a little bit because the rocks are close in so anyway me and my trusty buddy steve wood my partner in crime we decided to give it a go one evening Sure enough, would you bloody believe it? We absolutely nailed it, and we nailed it every single day. It was it was brilliant sessions. A bit hard work, you know, staying up, you know, staying up and all that, and then having to go to bloody work. But like I said in the past, sometimes you got to go that extra mile to catch the fish. Anyway, so let's get on to have a look at some of the lures that we've been using, and then Bob's your uncle. There's some live footage coming up in a little bit, but not so much. Through of, of them sessions because it's pitch black, do you know what I mean? You can't really see bug at all, but and that's just the way it is. So, let's get into it. right, so the first lure that we're gonna that I'm gonna show you is it's blown a bit of a blast in the past, I haven't used it for ages anyway. I stuck this little baby on it's the mega bass dark sleeper, the little baby, little baby one, that one. Anyway, I stuck that little that one, and I tell you, kid you not, the bloody waves. There were still rocks showing. I was just whacking it out there because we'd got there quite early. Do you know what I mean? And then, sure enough, I hooked into one. I got a bass. That was the first one of of the session at the at the new sort of venue where where we'd been catching the fish. And uh, yeah, that was the first. So I'm not going to go on mega about all these. I'm just going to go through them quite quickly. But as you can see, he has lost. A couple of eyes like he did before in one of the other videos yonks ago he lost one eye now he's lost both eyes but I, what i've got is these uh i've got these off ebay they're little replacement eyes that you can stick in there obviously there's three different sizes there because incidentally the next lure on the list is this is ima hound sonic 100 i tell you what that the one has been absolutely nailing it and funnily enough he also lost an eye because look, I put a new one in that, that side. It looks pretty similar to the other one actually, but oh no, you can definitely see that's different. That's a little blue eye, and that's the original eye. That has been absolutely nailing them for us. But I haven't seen that because because when these sort of times happen, do you know what I mean? I like to try, you know, I like to try different lures. Look, the bloody looks a bit bent on there. That's obviously for my fish. But, um, you know, I like to try some of the other ones. Uh, hence why I've got quite a few to get through. So that's the Sonic. Oh, I'm just forgot to you. I've just had a new one turn up today. I bought that today. Uh, that's um, 
a pure white one. I'm also going to get the sexy mackerel because because Steve Wood was doing quite well on the bigger because obviously the one two five is obviously the the big brother of this one if you like to say that. But he's been he's been doing really well on that one. It's a blind note, so I'm going to order that in sexy mackerel. Trouble is with that like so many bloody lures. The yellow one it's bastard to get hold of it. Steve Wood managed to get one, but I looked and I, I just couldn't find it anywhere. Not a lot of good to you, but I'm sure it will come along again. But you don't, don't have to buy it because there's bloody loads of lures that, that work when, when it's on. Do you know what I mean? It's just a case of going through them. The Shoreline Shiner, ah, blind in. I mean, I've had before, previously, I had my best ever session on that one, the, the night one. Uh, what else have we got? Maria Squash, night time remember all, these are all chart at the moment that's another brilliant stuck it on first cast everyone this one the blue blue snack on is uh, another one someone gave me that look it was mega mega rusty hook so found it in a pile of kelp or whatever unbelievable catches the only thing i don't like right is the three hook affair when you you don't want to be mucking about all the time trying to get bloody hooks out of uh, the thing oh another another hound glide this is the one two five i didn't use this much but i caught on it because i've had that for bloody ages and that's a a night glow one but it did work so i always had a cotton candy but i lost that the other day on the bloody rocks at low tide but that's the way it goes also we have the Pays Bass, that worked, I used that. The only thing is with this, where we were fishing the bloody, there's loads, seems to be loads of weed on the bottom. Now how, how I sort of got around that the first night, because it was every single time you were reading in, it was that it had weed in it, but I still caught on it. But how we got around that, it was just to, to go on the surface, it seemed to work. As you can see, my tackle, I nailed it on that, on the tackle house vulture, that has been absolutely bad. But this is one that I sprayed, it was a, a silvery one before and I sprayed that that was absolutely nailing it and they cast like an absolute rocket that one needs a little bit of a respray that one but um because I ironically I've just been doing one today actually I've had the day off because I had to take my dad to the bloody medical center today and help him get his prescription it was bloody on you can see it's a tackle house feed shallow one two eight Gee, oh, I can take them eyes I can take that uh, you know, a bit of a blue tack over the eyes, a little spot of blue tack so you don't spray over the eyes. And also this, if I can get the bloody thing off, this is like an old uh, fly fishing. You know, you put a little fly in there. I use that to uh, to hold it so you don't spray all your hands bloody white. So that's a tackle house food. Shall I net on the production line for the uh, for another session? Right, just a couple left. The Duo Realis, that's like a mullet one. Steve Wood gave me that. He bought another five because he lost his trusty, um, his trusty Realis. I think he, uh, I think he went into mourning for about a week after losing that because that was his number one lure. I can't remember what prism. Oh, I can't remember what. There's so many, didn't I? Got that five, didn't one. He gave me that one. I caught on that, and um, also the little Savage Gear Sand Deal. That's a, a V2, you know, it's got that little cocktail stick through it. And also, this little baby one. It's getting so much weed all the time, but, you know, I like to, like I said, I like to uh, try different lures when, um, you know, when, they go, when they're going's good, when, it, when it's on, do you know what I mean? When you know there's loads of fish out there, it's worth giving them a go. I mean, all, all, as for all the others, I didn't even bother. I don't even know, I bothered even trying some of them. I know a lot of them work anyway. Anyway, so that is it as far as the lures are concerned. Right, next thing on the agenda, oh, we're getting into wader repair. That's been a bit of a sore subject for me because mine keep bloody leaking and it's so annoying. I keep, you know, I've bought a couple of pair of boots, I'll get into them, but anyway, I've got this stuff. I did buy this paint, rubber paint to, it's all in the stocking foot bit where it leaks for me. Obviously my vast waders, I put little patches because you know where they leak because you obviously can see it on your tracksuit bottoms underneath. Anyway, but I bought this this paint, this rubber paint, but what I found was I painted all over the, the stocking foot bit on the thing. Uh, There's a picture of the, the paint there. I wouldn't bother wasting your time. So what I did was, as I've gone back to, I'm going to use this stuff. It's called Black Witch. And um, obviously, I've done a little bit, actually, but I did it because I've run out. I've just all that's just come through. So let's go and have a look in the garden. I'll show you. 
as you can see, we're coming up to my waders that are on the table. They've been there for about three days. Now you can just see there where I've put the black witch. But that's a lot more flexible than what the other stuff was. So hopefully it will do the trick. That's the old stuff, but I should just sunk into it. But it, it has, I don't think it's really sealed it. One side leaks, one side doesn't. So anyway, ah, there's another little, uh, another little repair there. Oh, another little one there. Jesus Christ, it'd be easy just to get, to get new ones. But like I say, back in, back in the office. Like I say, I don't want to keep bloody buying waders every bloody year. It works out expensive. And the thing is, right? I borrowed Steve Woods boot. Oh, Steve Woods boots. He's a size eleven. Those are. <coughs> Oh, I'm tired, I only walked out. That's why I'm doing the steps. Uh, Steve Woods, I borrowed his boots, and they're size 11. I wore them, and I thought, bloody hell, they feel absolutely massive. So what I did was, because I'm obviously in the middle of repairing them, I thought I'd order myself some boots. Anyway, I ordered a size 10 boots. They were these, uh, bite, they got studs on them, and miles too small. They just, it, was, it would have been really painful to try and walk around with them on. So what I thought I'd be clever, rather than spending loads of money on a pair of boots, I would get a pair of hiking boots, size 11, and then uh, Bob's your uncle, they're only about bloody 17 quid, so I ordered them, got them, miles too small. In fact, here they are, brand spanking new. Miles, that's a size 11, normally I'm a size nine, they fit me, if I put a thick pair of socks on, they'll fit me a treat. So they'll be good for pit fishing, but as it comes to putting them on the waders, it's not the same. So don't make that mistake of thinking, you know, if you're, if you're going to buy wading boots, buy wading boots that are a size bigger or a size, because they are made, I think they're made, they must be made bigger anyway, because there's no way they are the same size 11 as what Steve Wood's size 11 boots are, because they were bloody massive. So there you go. That's a little bit about waders and waders repair. I'll probably do another video where I show you, but you've seen how I've... Uh, I've actually done that, okay? That's that all sorted. Right, next is, is headlights. Now, yeah, we're gonna get into the, a little bit of live footage coming up soon, like, like I promised. I've, it took me ages mucking about and snipping bits here and there. Anyway, right, I've just got my, uh, I've had one of these before. This is the, the uh, N25 Nightcore. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's the, I don't know why I just didn't bother just getting another one of these. I actually lost it. I was walking off the beach when we had been fishing one night and it had obviously fallen out of my, it had fallen out of the bag. Obviously I hadn't done it, I think, because I just, it just wasn't there anymore. I had been using this one. I bought this from um, somewhere <laughs> abroad, which is it's still quite a good light, but it's just miles, miles too bright. You've got three adjustments on that night core because it, it's, it's a bit of a mixed opinion about whether the, the light actually brightens the fish. I actually think it does. I mean, I'm always quite wary. But with the night core, they say that you could, you know, a red light, it's got, it's got a red light. I'll show you, I'll try not to blind you. Look, it's got a red light, two settings. It's got a bright setting as well. So I think the red, the red light's a bit more bass friendly, if you like. Obviously with the, uh, with the other side, I won't show it direct. That's got, right, look, one, two, and three, really bright. And also, if you push both buttons down together, it locks it. A little look, flash. And then it don't go off in your bag. Because, oh, it did. Look, I did, obviously didn't do it right, did I? Let's try again, shall we? Ah, that time. I think we got it that time. Yeah, it's not working now, look. It's locked. So, um, yeah, so I decided to get one. It's actually my missus bought it for me for my birthday. My birthday's not yet, but because I said I wanted it, she... She bought it for me. She better give me something else. I don't want just this. Quite there's loads of lures I need. I want. And this was the other one that I um that I had got, like I said, but this is a weird thing. Oh no, it's not that way, it's that way, isn't it? Oh yeah, if you push that button, see that? It's quite clever, isn't it? Well, there you go. Now he's there. No, he's not. There you go. But too bright. I forgot to charge the bloody thing up. I'd used that about six times without charging it up. And of course, one of the nights was going absolutely frantic. I didn't, the light kept, I couldn't see bugger all. I kept having to get Steve Wood. It's quite annoying when, you, when you're trying to fish, do you know what I mean? Because it's quite hard work where we're fishing. Because we, um, well, we're not say hard work, it was absolutely brilliant. But we had to use a drop net some of the time. Because obviously, 
trying to get them bass up you know you're reading them out of the water we're above we're on the prom we're fishing you know we're pulling obviously they're quite a way away you will see in one of the one of the video clips but we had a drop now i lost the bloody blind of a tail and I, do you know what i knew it's going to get off it was massive i couldn't get i just could i was i was trying to get it close to the wall but i could feel it was only hooked on because you can just tell by when it's shaking its bloody head you could like you could feel the rattle of the lure as well and then sure enough just as we got the bloody drop net down there the bloody thing got off oh, i tell you i know it, i know it would have been fish of the bloody season for me i know by a mile easily because a lot most of the fish were about up to 58 centimeters not, not the mega massive but you know still great great fun you know that's still good quite a good stamp of fish anyway that's the lights now let's get into the footage Are you reeling? Oh, we ain't a bad one. It'll do. It's all right. Nah, it's all right, mate. Fuck your fishing up. He still ain't done yet. <laughs> Ray, not bad. Thank you very much, Mr. Bass. Let's get you back on your jolly old way. Not a bad start to the evening at all, Mr. Bass. Sorry? Yeah. He's gone. He weren't a bad one, was he? Sorry? I turned it on halfway through. <laughs> I'll try and get out a bit further if I was you, mate. I'll get on this thing here, look here. Right out. Really quite deep here. Deep as you like. Or where to take then. Unless it was the rocks out there. Might have been. It went down this fucking ramp. It got fucking down right deep down that gut. I thought, oh, look at it. Because it got right, right down in that deep water down there. It's amazing how they seem to come into life when they just realise that they're, you know, there's someone out there talking and that.
I'm in again. Are you reeling in the bus? <laughs> I can't sing it because I'm on video. <laughs> yeah, I had to take the I had to take the, the go before. I mean the cast before as well. Not as big as the last one. I don't care. It's another fucking fish. Who gives a shit? Yeah, he's coming in easy. He's only a baby, I think. Are you reeling in the bus? Oh, he ain't that little. Oh, he is. Come here, me old mate. Come here, me old son. The thing is, right, obviously I'm going silver because it's it's still quite daylight, do you know what I mean? When we were catching them other ones in the darkness, that yellows the bollocks, but it still might work, do you know what I mean? I caught it. Got this fish. Don't know yet, mate. Actually, he comes in a bit closer. It's pulling all right. I needed that, mate. I didn't want a blank. <laughs> I said I needed that, I didn't want a blank. Oh, it's only a little, I think, yeah. Yeah. So that was the um, little bit of live footage, not the greatest live footage, but still a little bit of fun, just so you can actually see us catching some of the fish. Um, yeah, so uh, any I'll put little links in the at the bottom for the for the uh, wader uh, repair glue, black witch, fucking good, it's bloody good stuff that is. You can p put that on and put a patch on it, or do just smear it over where you think your waders are leaking. Right, anyway, the um. So that's it really, that's the, the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, speak to you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe the to the video. Any comments or any questions, just, just put them in the comments bit. Anyway, thanks for watching, see you soon.